science, religion, at war for thousands of years. Robert Boyle, one of the founders of the Royal Society of London, is generally credited with being the father of modern chemistry. As distinct from the alchemy of the Middle Ages, his contributions in both physics and chemistry are very great in number, and he was considered in his time to be probably the greatest physical scientist of his generation. Yet he was also a humble, witnessing Christian and a diligent student of the Bible. Boyle considered his scientific experiments, like all his other endeavors, part of his Christian service, for it was man's duty to see God's purposes in nature. His skeptical chemist was an important work, moving chemistry from the world of alchemy into the realm of science. Boyle believed the orderliness of the universe reflected God's purposeful design. God established the universe according to certain natural laws, so that it worked like a mechanical clock, once the designer had set it in motion. The scientist's duty was to discover what laws God had established. Boyle himself formulated what became known as Boyle's Law. The pressure of a gas is inversely proportional to the volume. It occupies. Boyle's scientific studies included work on the theory of colors, respiration, gems, and porosity. His work replaced the idea of occult influences in nature with a belief in natural laws established by God in creation. All of Boyle's life, including his scientific work, was to glorify God. Many of his writings were decidedly theological. He wrote tracts on divine love, ethics, the evil of swearing, the excellence of theology, and the style of scripture. He was profoundly interested in missions, and devoted much of his own money to Bible translation work and the propagation of the gospel. In 1662 Boyle was influential in establishing the Royal Society. A majority of the first members were Christians who saw science as a means of understanding God's workings in nature. He also established a series of lectureships for proving the Christian religion against its opponents. The Boyle Lectures which became an important forum for Christian apologetics, but the strongest apologetic Robert Boyle gave the world was his humble, upright, and dedicated Christian life. 